<laughs> Thanks so much. I'm sitting down here with Kit Furukawa, who is with the Maui Filipino Chamber of Commerce and the Japanese Cultural Society of Maui as well. You're also a business owner yourself. I of am. Maui Chili Chili Oil. <laughs> yes. Wow. Wearing so many hats, you know, that's that's how we do it. We wear so many hats, get everything done. <laughs> yes, I can't think of a more perfect person to wear all these hats and do what you folks are doing in the community. Let's start and, and talk story about the way that everyone kind of copes with things in different ways and how you folks were able to support the community through that, especially the Filipino and the Japanese community. Right. Well, when the fires happened, the immigration community was largely affected. Filipinos are um, a Mexican community, our Japanese community. So we would just want to make sure that they're not left behind in the recovery process. I don't know, we're coming off from Chef Joey's segment. So the way I cope with grief is I eat. <laughs> and, and he has, you know, Chef Joey has fed his community, took care of his community even before the fires. You know, for the Filipino community, we cope differently in different ways in our own language and not just the spoken language. We are a religious community. We pray. Mm -hmm. um, some of our manongs and manangs, we garden. Yeah. Um, we talk story with our family. We travel. We pivot for our business owners that have been affected. That's main thing. You gotta keep going. You know, mm -hmm. whatever it takes. You whether you moved off island or looked for a different venue elsewhere for your business or a different warehouse. Right. And that's what we have been seeing. It's tough. Mm -hmm. It's been tough. It's still tough. But we're coping, you mm -hmm. know, we're coping differently. Yeah. yeah, you were saying coping differently, but I know one thing is that people love to come together. And you were telling me that there's some events and it's all about bringing the people together because that's a great way to heal. Right? Absolutely. You know, right after the fires, we created these events, these resource fairs that drew thousands in the Filipino community and not just in the Filipino community, but we made sure that, you know, they see um, people who look like them and offer the services in their language and make sure to help them uh, take advantage of the different resources out there for them. This coming Saturday is Lahaina Obon. Uh, we're bringing the community together. It's being put together by the churches that burned. Lahaina Hongwanji, Lahaina Jodo Mission, Lahaina Shingon. And we're gonna dance, you know? It's a way to cope. Obon, as you know, is commemoration of our loved ones, mm -hmm. remembering our loved ones. It's just the perfect event to bring the community together. We're gonna have games for the keiki, we're gonna have some food, and we're just gonna have a good time and talk story with the community. Absolutely. So we're excited this Saturday. This Saturday, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, before we go, yeah. I wanted to touch up on your shirt, Kai Vigan Oh my Lahaina. gosh, I'm so proud of my friends. The, this is a newly minted nonprofit here in Lahaina put together by survivors of the fires. My Filipino friends, um, they are doing great work. In addition to other organizations, Tagnawa for Maui, Binhiat Ani, Philippine Nurses Association, they're just been on the ground and making sure the recovery process is continuous. Um, Kaibigan ng Lahaina has worked with us, Maui Filipino Chamber of Commerce, and other organizations, we're going to put together more resources for the community. So that's up and coming. Please uh, watch out for it. We're, our biggest challenge has always been capacity. You know, we're looking for volunteers. We're looking for folks who can devote time. As volunteers ourselves, we have uh, our business owners, we're professionals. So we're trying to make do with what we can. Yeah, but I just want to give them a shout out. That's why I wore this shirt. Shout out to these guys. <laughs> yeah for joining me today. Of course, we're going to take a break, but stay with us because we'll be back with more from Royal Lahaina Resort and Bungalow. Thank you so much for being here. Take care. Be the first to